countries. Cheap land and better wages led some to immigrate from Europe to North America, Latin America, and Australia. The economic gap between Britain and the rest of the continent narrowed at Belgium, Germany, and France rapidly expanded their heavy industries. In contrast to the first industrial revolution, the second industrial revolution was associated with steel, chemical, electricity, and oil. Gottlieb Dam Damler invented the modern internal combustion engine used to power cars, and then Henry Ford made the automobile available to masses. Between 1850 through 1873, both industri industry and agricultural prospered, and then during 1873 through 1900, both slowed. When the economy grew near, grew new forms of retailing beca because became more accessible, like department stores, chain malls, and mail order catalog appeared. Most middle class members lived prosperous and in splendor that reviled the lifestyle of the aristocracy. Most middle class people were educated and the men were the only working people in the family. 1850 through 1911, urban dwellers rose from 25 to 44 percent in population in France and from 30 to 60 percent in Germany. European government stepped in and started to redesign cities, including businesses, government, government officials, and large stores. Epidemics in the 1830s and 1840s led to growing concern for sanitation in urban areas. After the revolutions of 18, 1848, the overcrowding in housing and the social discontent that it generated were also seen to pose political danger. Married Women, Married Women's Property Act in Britain per, permitted married women to own property. A husband's rights over children were they could take the children away from mother and have child raised by another woman. Only the father could give permission for their daughter to marry. And in case of a divorce, the husband was usually given custody of children. Education most universities were not open to women until the last quarter of the 19th century. The University of Zurich was open to women in 1860. Prussian universities didn't admit women until after the 1900s. Women worked in jobs with low skill set like secretaries and clerks. They were paid low wages as it was assumed they could rely on their husbands. Employers prof preferred women whose families lived would not interfere with their work. Manufacturers purchased as purchased material and then put it out to, s to several tailors in small shops or in their homes who made finished products. Since there were on always women searching for jobs, then there were jobs available. Thousands of women were prostitutes on the continent prostitution was legalized and subject to governmental regulations. <laughs> Romantic marriage came to be seen as dangerous to social stability and thereof people continue to marry for economic reasons. Diaries, letters, and even surgery indicate that sexual enjoyment rather than sexual rep repression was fundamental to middle class marriages. Average middle class family size dropped as the cost of child rearing increased. It was difficult for working class and middle class women to get along. Women often disagreed on the goals of the movement. Emmeline Pankhurst led a more radical branch of feminists. In the 1890s, several women organizations emerged like the National Council of French Women. National Assembly recognized Jews as French citizens, amidst and turmoil of Napoleonic Wars. Jews became involved in, art, in arts and served in the highest offices in state. Late century industrial expansion eliminated artisan and a sh and sharp rise in urban working class occurred. Trade unions emerged when governments began to ex extend legal protection during the second half of the century. 
Great Britain passed its second Voting Reform Act in 1867 and its third in 1884. Marx recognized the new political and economic realities now allowed workers to pursue their right through political process. In process, trade unions grew and they typically allied themselves politically with liberals named after Fab Fabius Maximus, the Roman general whose tactic against Hannibal involved avoiding direct conflict that might lead to defeat. In response to Dreyfus' affair, the French prime minister appointed the socialist Alexander Millerand to the cabinet in order to unite all supporters of Dreyfus. German Social Demo Democratic Party of SPD kept Marxism, Marxism alive during the late 19th and early 20th century. Tsar Alexander III and after Nicholas I were determined to make Russia an industrial power. Discontent grew okay the Russian countryside as Russian agriculture had not prospered after the emancipation of the serfs in 1861. Vladimir Lynch Olvon, who later took the name Lenin, was a close follower of Plehavnov, wrote that is to be done. He believed socialist goals could be achieved through political processes. The Tsar entered the Russo-Japanese War in part to win public approval for the Tsarist re regime. The plan backfired, then Russia lost the war.